Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I hope you're having a fantastic day. There is no way out, according to a leading European economist. Uh, sad to say, we agree. Uh, there is no way that the current group of politicians are going to be able to solve the problems that are facing Europe. Europe is doomed. It's doomed by an aging and shrinking population. It's doomed by terrible work practices, accepting the German car industry. Uh, it's doomed by uh, its inability to seriously confront the problems of the southern tier. Uh, this is so because Europe is not really Europe. It's just a collection of countries without a single agenda and without a central fiscal policy. As you know, the Italian situation has already been, to de been begun to deteriorate. Further, mentions have also increased of the Spanish situation. You will doubtless recall that we've been talking about uh, Portugal, Ireland, Italy, and Spain. I won't say what that amounts to as an acronym for six or seven months because the problems are monumental. And there are whole socialist, in the classic sense, socialist views of the world that are being revealed as being as fatally flawed as the communist view of the world. So uh, these countries are not going to amiably change their policies and practices, and we don't believe they're going to do it anytime soon. Added to this is the fact that people take great hope from the fact that Monti, the new Italian prime minister, is perceived as an economist and a technocrat. Of course, he was a member of the European Commission. He's one of the architects of the system that created all this mess in the first place. So we have a hard time believing that he's going to be at the core of the solution. Many disagree, but trade over the last few months has shown this view, this view of ours to be worth considering very deeply if you're an investor who's concerned about protecting and making more money. Now, uh, in addition, our other big voodoo ideas for today is that we expect are that we expect the uh, U.S. inflationary pressures to ease. Uh, we expect to see uh, eurozone, as we indicated, growth to be lackluster at best in the third quarter and to decline sharply in the fourth quarter. And we also expect the Japanese economy to continue to stumble. So part of the situation that we see in Europe is how are the Europeans going to grow or earn their way out of the present debacle? I don't see a way they can do it. A lot of people don't see a way they can grow up and out. We keep focusing on how to make money. One of the areas you're going to make money in is gold. One of the areas you're going to make money in is gold. Demand is growing. Supply is weakening. The aging of the mining system, that means that the quality of ore is degraded, not as good as it used to be, and it's much harder, to, and what you can get out is much harder to, to mine. Therefore, mines are going deeper, there's more danger, etc., etc., etc. Supply is weakening at least until 2015 or 2016 when some new finds will come online. So gold holding in the 1770, 1780 level is a very good thing. Now remember, Paulson has sold out about 40% uh, of his gold holdings. This is because his other investments have been such a debacle, they're down about 50% in his main fund this year, that he's having to sell gold, which is he has, he has an up, which he has on a positive basis. And the effect of this is that we're seeing momentary weakness, and I must say it's momentary, and the gold's only down about 20 bucks over the last three days trading. And that indicates to us that there's going to be a very strong up move in gold, a real opportunity for profits in gold uh, once this uh, margin-related selling by the Paulson Group uh, is over. So uh, we think gold is setting stage for a run to 1850, 1855 by December 1st. Uh, we want to remind you that Goldman Sachs has been a buyer of futures for Dece December 2012 delivery around the 2000 level. So we think gold is going to do very, very well in the short term and in the long term. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. Look for the truth. Don't be deluded. Look for the truth about what's going on in the uh, world today, and you'll make lots of money. Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day and keep swinging.